quick disclaimer, I will be swearing a lot. <laughs> um, this talk is also filled with a lot of generalizations, and uh, please don't get offended. Also, Dave may have set me up a little bit after Ben, so. Uh. So, how many of you have been asked this question? I've been asked this question multiple times by multiple people in multiple different situations. And I always get asked this, and I say, naively, like an idiot, how about we make it data-driven? And then the fucking shit show starts. Right? And, you know, maybe you're confused. What I mean by data-driven? I mean, please stop building your game content in fucking C++. Stop doing shit like this. You know? If my health is less than 55, then magic code. Or even worse, in animation, you do stuff like, if animation state, magic string, then animation state, magic string. You know, that can never go wrong, right? Obviously, data-driving stuff implies investment in tools. Yes? It also implies giving designers and animators more control, which Ben seems to not be a fan of. <laughs> so we give this conversation, and I have this conversation now, and I get this reaction from the content team. That might be a little too cool. It's usually a little bit more like this, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is going well. Awesome. And then I look at the program. And I'm like, huh. Like this, this, this is not going well. And then I get this. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> and I'm like, what? what? What is going on here? What the fuck is going on? You have two groups of people with the same team, with the same goals, that can't fucking agree on this. And I'm like, okay, okay, the program has seen the, the, the unhappy ones. Let me talk to them and find out what's going on. And I ask them, and I get a bunch of excuses, but the same ones kind of keep popping up, and there's this one main one. Content people will break everything. <laughs> and as soon as we roll this out to the content team, within one or two days, this will be the project. <laughs> and I kind of wonder to myself, and I'm like, this might be based on a flawed assumption, because, I don't know, it assumes that programmers never break anything. <laughs> Ever. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, I break a fuck lot of things. And usually when I break something, it looks like this. <laughs> right? Because usually, like, rolling out a build to your entire content team is a lot harder than kind of just fixing some data and saying just, ah, maybe you want to get the latest. You know? And then there's a second version of this where it's like, content people will make a giant mess. <laughs> and initially, I used to sort of kind of try to defend animators because it's an animation program a little bit closer to the, the content guys. And I used to sort of defend it, but after a while, I got grumpy and frustrated and... If you don't know me, I'm like the grumpiest old young programmer you'll ever meet. <laughs> um, and I just got frustrated and I said, you know what? Fuck it. Every time I hear this argument, I say, have you looked at our code base? <laughs> those damn animators got there last night and they, they added all the stuff. You know, damn those animators. You know, and I'm guilty of this myself. I, I do stupid shit all the time. You know, there's some other excuses like this approach hasn't shipped and risk. It's too hard to convert the code. We're going to lose some of the magic. And these ones actually have some merit. In terms of your production, these ones can be valid excuses. And that's OK. But there's one excuse, and one that is fucking toxic, and it's this one. This is something that we need to get away with. Just because we've traditionally done something doesn't mean this how we do it. And this quote isn't even mine. This is Grace Hopper back in, I don't know, before I was born. You know, so why don't we just address the elephant in the room? And I think the problem is, is that as programmers, we're just scared of being obsolete. We're just scared if we open up the toolbox and we open the stuff up, that what are we going to do now? Like, man, if they can build a game and they can do this without us, we're going to have a job? Are we going to be out on the street? You know, what's going to happen with us? I mean, am I losing control? And I think we're just insecure. And I've been insecure about some of this stuff myself. And I'm like, I don't want to hand this out because that makes me less special. And that's not true, right? We see ourselves as these staunch defenders of the gameplay, and we want to kind of defend it from the hordes of content people that want to break everything. But the reality is, at least for myself, <coughs> that I'm scared and I'm hanging on for dear life, you know? And instead of wasting all this energy fighting, like, you know, content teams and our own insecurities, you know, like this dog that's giving it back, which is probably a good thing, you know, we're so scared of this, and we like, we don't want to stop losing that feeling of being special, and we're going to do this. And that doesn't look good for anybody, neither the dog nor the guy trying to yank the dog in there. And I'm saying, why don't we just relax? And we can be this, this could be us. 
You know, we can lie back as programmers. We can have the content guys doing our work for us. You know? Why, why can't this be us? You know? And if there's one takeaway I want to do from this, and that's... Uh, that's not right. Hold on. That! That! We shouldn't base data-driven because it's going to make everybody's life better.